right, let's talk Aaron Banks, the second yeah. round pick, uh, six foot six, two hundred, three hundred and twenty pounds. Not exactly the kind of guy that has been on the line before, but um, what do you think? I think he's a, I think he's a beast. When you watch him play, I, I was lucky because I did a breakdown of uh, tra- uh, Tommy Kramer, the guy that lines up opposite of him uh, against Clemson this year, and he kept catching my eye. The guy's just, a, he's fast, he moves well, he. He has the ability to, to, to move his feet and, and get those outside zone blocks. Um, you know, when he's, he's got a really good strong anchor against the pass ability to, you know, he has really good pass blocking ability as well. So I think he's going to be a really nice fit. Yeah. Um, and it seems to me again, like if they're thinking, well, you know, we can do, we, we can do outside zone. We got Raheem Mostert for that. He's one of the best outside zone runners in, in the league and we have Kittle and all that stuff. But if we want to be good running the zone, read, and why wouldn't we, I mean, guys, you got, Trey Lance, freaking Trey, he's now one of your most explosive, dangerous running backs on the team. I mean, he could get six, seven, eight carries a game. Um, mm-hmm. You're going to have to have a really good guard because the way the zone read works is it's that center and guard pushing on a defensive tackle, moving him out of the way consistently, a double team block. And who have the Niners had in there? Last year it was Daniel Brunskill and Colton Kivitz or Tom Compton. Not exactly uh, – the strength of the offensive line. Now, Alex Mack and freaking Aaron Banks on one side with Lakin Thompson and the other, they could actually be a very good zone read team. Yeah, they, they, they've got a the zone read or, you know, if they run like jet sweep and then yes. fake the jet sweep and, and, and run the, the traps or whatever up the middle with the running with the quarterback if it's if it is uh, uh, Lance early in the season. It's it's all there. I think it, I think they've really done a good job of putting this group together. Yeah, and, you know, if Lance doesn't win the starting job right away, because remember, there's no mini camps, there's no OTAs, it might be tough to get him the, the reps to get him ready for week one. Maybe he'll need till week four. And in which case, mm-hmm. there can be packages for him where he comes in sure. and, and runs. Uh, you give him six, two runs, two dropbacks, two play-action passes a game to start off and, and build from there. There are things you can do, and I think this run game is going to be really a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, I do too. I do too.